Hey guys, and thank you for watching. Now, today we're actually going to be using one of the premium HelloFresh meals. So, the meal that we have today is the volcanic mozzarella and garlic chicken with rosemary wedges, baby leaf, and tomato salad. And no, I have not suddenly developed a tattoo. Um, it's actually my dad was going to be doing a lot of the cooking today as I had a new camera, so I wanted to test out the filming with it. So, thank you, Dad. So the very first thing we did was wash all the vegetables and then we're going to start chopping. So first we're going to be making the wedges. Uh, this is how dad does them. So less uh, chip-like <laughs> as, as opposed to mine. But here's the wedges. So then I came in with the rosemary. So after giving it a little wash, first thing I did was just take each piece off of the stem and then to chop it into smaller pieces, uh, just so you're able then to scatter them around on top of the potatoes. So back to the potatoes, first we're just going to make sure they got a nice lashing of olive oil on them. Then we're going to add the rosemary and scatter it around. And then, of course, the favourite, <laughs> um, a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. Then we're just going to leave them aside to pop in the oven later. And now with the filling for the chicken, so I'm just going to tear the mozzarella into little pieces, like you can see by here. And then I'm going to get the chives and I'm just going to use the scissors to chop them into small little bits. Now dad's going to come in with the garlic, so first he's just chopping the ends off of it. It's just overall so it's easier in the garlic press. And then he's also going to peel the garlic. And finally then, just put, pop them into the press and give them a good squeeze to get all that beautiful pureed garlic out. Also then, just using a knife just to scrape any bits off, just to be sure we've got as much garlic as possible. So now we're going to start putting all the ingredients together, starting with the mozzarella and then we're going to get the chives and the garlic and just put all that together and then just give it a really good stir just to be sure everything's all nice and mixed in, a bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. Then just another big mix just to be sure everything's all nice and mixed together. And now we're just going to make the dipping sauce for the meal. So we're going to take half of the mayo and half of the mustard. And we're just going to put that all into a bowl and mix together thoroughly. So everything's nice and mixed together and we've got our sauce ready for dipping. And now we're just going to start preparing for the coating for the chicken. So we've got some panko breadcrumbs. We're going to empty them out onto a plate and then we're going to take some salt, some pepper. And it also says for a dress of uh, olive oil to be added as well. And give it a little mix, just be sure it's all nice and together. And then it's time for the chicken. So we're going to cut like a little pocket into the chicken. And we're going to do that for each breast. This is where the filling's going to go. We do have two, actually, our chopping boards are the same. Uh, so we tend to use like one for meat, one for veggies. So that's why it looks the same. <laughs> and then we're going to add the stuffing into each chicken. So that's that lovely mozzarella mix that we made earlier. We're just going to insert that into each um little pocket that we've made on the chicken and um, we're just making sure that it's quite secure inside the little pockets that we've made you know everything's like stuffed quite nicely uh, just so it doesn't fall out during the crumbing process now with HelloFresh you don't get eggs normally, um, I think almost all the recipes I've seen are quite egg free so instead of like an egg prior to the um, panko we're actually going to be putting mayonnaise so they said to put it on one side first and then to dip it that side down into the panko add more mayonnaise to the other side and then just to make sure both sides are coated and then to put into a pan lined with a baking sheet I think the reason that you don't have eggs is probably with the packaging as you know they are a very delicate item I think it'd be quite hard to pack an egg for shipping And just while we're doing the chicken, we've also just popped the potatoes into the oven as they take a little bit longer 
chicken should be all like so into the oven and then we're going to start on the dressing so first we're just going to add the other half of the mustard a bit of olive oil a bit of balsamic um we didn't actually receive ours so lucky we had our own some salt and some pepper and give it all a good mix now what was weird was that they said to make the dressing first then to put the salad on top <laughs> so um now we're going to be cutting the little tomatoes or tomatoes in half now we're just going to empty the tomatoes into our salad bowl with the dressing at the bottom and also the lettuce and what we're going to do is when the meal is ready later so all the stuff in the oven is cooked we're just going to mix the salad round so all that dressing goes all over as well and everything's nice and coated okay so now our wedges are all nice beautifully cooked and also the chicken kievs um, we just mixed all the salad together and plate it up and then this should be your final result. Okay, so Dad, today you actually cooked the recipe. How did you find that? It was pretty good. It was, uh, wasn't too hard to do. A couple of steps um, I wasn't quite sure of, but uh, no, very, very pleased. Yeah, and uh, did you like the recipe itself, like the actual meal? Oh, very enjoyable. The um, the chicken Kievs were absolutely delish delicious. And out of five, what would you rate it? Oh, definitely a 4.5. And the preparation and the cooking, the instructions, what would you rate that? They were very good. I'd probably give them a four. Any further comments? No, a very enjoyable meal. Yeah, all good. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you, Emily. That was a pleasure.